Um, can you just walk us through that chase down block that you and Jalen com combined on at the last minute? Yeah, um, I'm just sprinting back, trying to make a play. Um, I mean, obviously they were making a little run there and um, whatever means necessary, just sprinting back and um, meet him at the rim. Adam, all the way in the back, center? Yeah. Obviously, we've seen you make these plays kind of over and over. What's kind of like a play like that? What's like your process? What kind of things, what keys are you looking for? Um, what, how do you make sure your timing is right? Is there a point where you realize you might have to abandon the play? Like, just kind of what's like the step by step for you? Uh, I mean, I think my first three steps uh, is really important. Um, just kind of put my head down and run. And then um, at that time, just trust the instincts and um, trust the timing that I have. And so um, just putting my head down and sprinting as fast as I can just to get in position and then go up and make a play. Right here in the center. Derek, five fouls combined in the first quarter in game one, 13 here in game two. How does this group respond to increased physicality, and where do you fit in that? Every game's different. Every game's um, officiated a little differently. And so uh, whatever it takes, you just got to um, make adjustments. Um, I think both teams are just trying to figure it out, at, especially at early. And then, um, I mean, you just compete at a high level. Again in the middle. Uh, Joe Call, Peyton Pritchard's shot, the play of the game tonight. Um, as a teammate, what is it like to see him cut, check into the game, hit that shot, and then you know go crazy celebrating the way that he did? I mean, that's what Peyton Pritchard does. I um, mean, if you watch us, late late clock, like he doesn't shy away from that moment. Um, just that was a big time shot. Um, kind of uh, got us momentum, and I mean, you just love love Peyton. You love competing with him, and. Uh, this is a big time shot. Second row on your right. Eric, uh, Drew Holiday obviously had the big game, basically just playing off of you guys and, and being in the right spots. You guys seem to have gelled really well with Drew, with KP. Like, that's two big additions this offseason. You seem to have gelled from the start of the year. W was there a moment in time throughout the season where you, where you really noticed that your guys' chemistry like kicked up a notch, or was it just like instant from the jump, like, yeah, this is it? I think a lot of credit just goes to the type of people they are. Um, I mean, they've done so much, and I can't begin to talk about how thankful and grateful I am for Drew just kind of allowing me to, to kind of take that next step. Um, and he could have easily came in and be like, I'm Drew Holiday. And I've been like, you are Drew Holiday, 100%. <laughs> and, but uh, he kind of just um, did a little different than what he's done in the last few years, and um, just each game getting more comfortable. Um, KP the same way, and, and just – just love being teammates with both of them. Chris, over here. Uh, just following up on that for a second, you said Drew's presence had allowed you to kind of take the next step. How so? Like, how do you feel his presence has allowed you to become the player you've been this year? Yeah, um, I think just him just taking, like, he's not on the ball as much as he probably <laughs> has been in uh, his career and um, just doing whatever the team needs. Um, he could take three shots, he could take. 14 shots, he just stays the same and consistent. And um, just a guy like that just knows how to compete at a high level and know how to win. And just on your depth in the series, um, how would, do you feel that's played and kind of perhaps wearing down Luka and Kyrie a little bit later in the game with what you're able to do against them on both ends, multiple looks? Have you seen that play and how key was your depth tonight? Yeah, the whole year, the, the strength of this team has been um, one through however many guys we got. We trust whoever goes in the game. and. Um, those guys just work so hard, and every time anybody checks in the game, they just give us great minutes. And so um, we trust everybody, and everybody's making big plays for us. Gary in the middle, and then Dave left. Gary, Gary Washington, Boston Globe. You're an all shucks kind of guy, but when someone is running the break, and you're you're, but you do chase downs. Do you say to yourself, "I got this, dude"? Like, I'm. What do you think when you're running full speed? Because this, you've had too many. Not to think like I can't believe this dude's gonna try this on me. Like there's got to be a arrogance there, to a yeah. certain extent. Yeah, that's why I got dunked on earlier. Um, <laughs> but um, it's part of the game. Uh, I think just that not afraid to get dunked on um, allows me to get some that maybe so many people would have gotten. So um, I'm just trying to make a play. Um, just believe in my abilities and what I can do. Dave, last question here. We bring up you. Derek, a bunch of you guys got here two years ago. Obviously, we all know that. 
Drew got here three years ago and his team won it all. Like, what type of weight or clout or whatever does that or, or validation does that, that bring to his words when he's added to this group? Yeah. Um, I mean, that experience, that um, just championship DNA, which you hear all about all the time, um, I mean, you don't really know what it takes till you do what it takes. And so, um, I mean, just the moment he, he came uh, to our team in the training camp, he kind of just had that presence about him, and um, he just knows how to win.